Born Alan Naomi Campbell, this fantastic next guest. Grew up wanting to be a star of stage and screen, and unlike many of her peers at the time, she had an astoundingly unique voice. In 1963, as the American soap folk scene began its rise, she formed the first few bands. The Big Three, The Mug Wumps, and The New Journeyman, with Denny Doherty and John Phillips. All with little or no commercial success, unfortunately. After acquiring two new members, both female, they needed a new band, and after much deliberation, they finally decided on the Mamas and the Papas. <laughs> One fan, I like that. <laughs> Our guest was known for her humour and her charisma, and her powerful and distinct voice is a large factor in the Mamas and the Papas' success, with resounding hits in California Dreamin' and for her solo performance of Dream a Little Dream of Me in 1968. Our larger-than-life guest was also something of a sex symbol, posing nude and semi-covered in daisies for Cheetah magazine, Woo! and consequently, <laughs> you're gonna lie, you're consequently earning herself an award for the most pages required for a centerfold. <laughs> After hosting a series of variety TV shows in the early 70s, she was tragically found dead. Funny now, wise guy. <laughs> On July 29, 1974, in a London flat, number 12 at Nine Curzon Place in Mayfair at age 32. Now, strangely enough, four years later, the Who's drummer Keith Moon died in exactly the same flat at exactly the same age. Man, just think on that for some stewing it. Think about it tomorrow, it'll be better like a curry. Larger than life, bigger than Ben Hur, more massive than Mercury. A woman who was hit on the head by a piece of copper piping on set, consequently improving her vocal range by three notes. Very, very true. Her remains resurrected. For you tonight, for one night only, you lucky girls. <laughs> Mama Cass Elliot. <laughs> What's the news, Mummy? You look great. Thanks, honey. It's great to be back. <laughs> Where have you been? What have you been doing? You know, just a bit of dropping in, dropping out, man. Same old thing. You know, yeah, I can do that. Right on. Yeah, I'm a little bit on. puffed. I had to walk from the from kitchen. The door, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, look, it's great to be here. Thank you very much for great having me. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, I'm just wondering. Do you know what's going on with the buffet man out the back? I'm just a little bit hungry. Oh, Jesus, it's almost Be quite away. a cliche, that is. But I think you know fully well what happened to the buffet, Mama Cass. However, however, I cannot have you, one of my songstresses, performing on an empty stomach, so I got you a, a sandwich. What's on it? Ham. Really? It's a ham sandwich. Enjoy it, bite it, love it, don't show it. Sure, man. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't oh. feel right. Something tells me I shouldn't have that ham sandwich, man. I think I just might sing a song instead. Well, what, do you think? what are you going to sing for tonight, Mama Cass? One of my favorites. Oh. Dream a little dream. Stars shining right above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore trees. Dream a little dream of me. Say nighty night and kiss me. Just hold me tight and tell me you miss me. While I'm alone, as blue as can be, dream a little dream of me. Dreams 
sunbeams find you Sweet dreams and leave all worries behind you But in your dreams, whatever they be Dream a little dream of me Whatever they be Ladies and gentlemen. Right on, sister. Thank you very much, everybody. Peace, peace. Tell stuff. You take that with you, too. <laughs> I just, uh,